Setting up your equipment database allows you to easily keep track of your entire warehouse stock by seeing what you have and what you still need to procure. This allows you to save time, since everything you need to add to a job is already present, priced, and ready to use. So let's see how to create a new equipment item. For the purposes of this video, we will create a lamp in Rentman. Simply go to the Equipment module and click on Add Equipment in the upper right. This pop-up allows you to quickly add the most critical pieces of information about your new equipment. Name, price, quantity, location, and type. I have 15 lamps total, so rather than creating each one individually, I simply set the stock to 15. The lamp I am creating will be a bulk item. More on that later. Once you save this, you can then add more information in the main equipment window. Equipment in Rentman comes with lots of predefined fields that you can fill out, from the purchase price to the width, length, and height. You can also add pictures for all of your equipment, making it easier to find for new employees. Note that you have multiple tabs, where you can assign even more useful information. Among other things, you can predefine accessories, alternatives, and suppliers, can define what inspections this equipment is subject to, and whether it shows up in a web shop, if you have one set up. And if you feel that you are missing a specific element, you can create extra input fields in the configuration module. You can read more about this and equipment in general on our support center. To make sorting easier, you can create folders for your equipment. You set them up in the equipment module and can then define where your new item is placed. Additionally, you can set tags for your equipment, which can be used during planning as well. One important element to understand for equipment is the distinction between bulk items and serialized ones. Bulk items are simply items that you do not care to track individually, anything from basic cables to cutlery. You define the amount you have or are obtaining via the stock tab of the equipment. While we have set our lamp to be a bulk item for the purposes of this video, in reality you might want to have more insight into each lamp separately. If you have equipment that you want to track individually, we recommend serializing it. This is especially useful for larger and more expensive stock, for example, cameras, musical instruments, fridges, and so on. We can convert our lamps to serialized stock with the click of a button. At this point, the stock tab becomes irrelevant, and the serial numbers tab is used for stock calculation. Serial numbers come with individual information allowing you to document things like purchase price and warranty for each item individually. Once you save this information, the serial number receives a unique QR code as well, which can be used in the warehouse for quick scanning during processing. To add multiple serial numbers at once, you can click on the three dots next to the Add button. This window allows you to set up an incremental series of numbers, useful when you purchase multiples of an item at the same time. All of these serial numbers will also receive unique QR codes. Bulk equipment stock can be edited in your stock tab, where you can, for example, increase or decrease it. The serialized equipment's totals will be calculated based on the total amount of active serial numbers that you have available and ready to use. You can also combine individual items into complex combinations, which is something we cover in a separate video. As you have seen, Creating equipment can be as simple or as complex as you want it to be. However, creating each equipment item separately can take a long time, especially if you have thousands of items in your warehouse. That is why we offer the option to import your entire equipment database using a CSV or Excel file. This process will be covered separately in detail. Once your equipment is added to the system, you can quickly plan it on jobs. During project planning, look for it in the list of equipment on the left and add it to the project. In this list, it will be sorted by the folders that you have defined. You can, of course, use the search bar or your tags to filter that list. Here's a handy trick. 
As soon as the equipment is planned on a project, you can modify the existing variables to your liking. This will not impact the remaining equipment in your database. Any changes you make will only be saved in this specific project. Based on what you have planned, Rentman will also calculate your current stock and deduct any items that are currently unavailable, allowing you to plan future jobs easily. You can display an equipment's timeline from within the equipment module or a project that the equipment has been planned on. It will allow you to track stock changes more easily. When you plan more of an item than you have in stock, a shortage will be created and marked in red, both in the timeline and directly in the project. Solving those will be covered in another video and, of course, in our support center.